evening viewers. Welcome to ISTV English News. Let's start with today's top stories. UP government offers land for setting up National Sports University in Lucknow, says the National Channel. Matter of National Sports University will be discussed with Prime Minister and in Parliament, says National General Secretary JDU. And tussle occurs between two groups over land dispute at Kurai Hong Kong. And now we have the detailed news. Uttar Pradesh government has offered land for setting up the National Sports University in Lucknow for which the Prime Minister has already laid foundation stone at Kautrok and Imphal West District of Manipur. This information was telecast by a national news channel, it is reported. The news talked about a meeting held between the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister of UP along with the Sports Minister of UP. The offer was made saying that aspirants from other parts of the country will face difficulties while coming to Manipur to study in the university. On the other hand, Chief Minister N. Biren, who is in Guwahati to attend the meeting of the Northeast Democratic Alliance, informed ISTV News that there is no such thing as shifting of National Sports University from Manipur to UP. The proposed university is only for their state. It is not the National Sports University. प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की महत्वाकांक्षी योजना देश की पहली नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स यूनिवर्सिटी की स्थापना मणिपुर के इंफाल में हो चुकी है अब पीएमओ की ही पहल पर इसके विस्तार का खाका खींचा जा चुका है इसके लिए खेल मंत्रालय ने लखनऊ का चयन किया है खुद यूपी सरकार ने इसके लिए मंत्रालय ऐसी पहल की है मंत्रालय लखनऊ में यूनिवर्सिटी का बड़ा कैंपस खोलने जा रहा है यूपी सरकार इस कैंपस के लिए जमीन देने को तैयार हो गई है मंत्रालय की योजना साल के अंत तक लखनऊ में इस कैंपस को शुरू करने की है हालांकि अभी तक जमीन का चयन नहीं हुआ है लेकिन जब तक नए कैंपस की नींव नहीं रखी जाती तब तक इसे लखनऊ के स्पोर्ट्स कॉलेज में चलाए जाने की योजना बनी है मंत्रालय का मानना है कि नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स यूनिवर्सिटी कैंपस स्थापित होने से लखनऊ स्पोर्ट्स एजुकेशन का हब बन जाएगा लखनऊ में ये कैंपस स्थापित करने की एक वजह ये भी है कि इम्फाल देश के दूसरे राज्यों से काफी दूर है यूनिवर्सिटी का फायदा सभी को मिले इसी को ध्यान में रखते हुए लखनऊ कैंपस का चयन किया गया है On the other hand, the National General Secretary of JDU, North East in Charge, MP Harivansh Narayan has said that the matter of the National Sports University will be discussed with the Prime Minister and in the Parliament. He said it would be very unfair if the university is set up in Manipur but the main departments are opened in Lucknow. He was addressing a press conference after inaugurating the newly constructed office building of JDU at New Chekon in Imphal East District today. On the other hand, the National General Secretary of JDU, Notice in Charge, said the party will stand for the agitation launched by the civil bodies against the statement of interlocutor R. N. Ravi regarding the Indo Naga peace talks. So, to these problems, we stand with the sentiments of Northeast people, and not only this, our national president, as per request of the Northeast delegation, will take up this matter with Honorable Prime Minister. He will lie to him and in JPC also the sentiment of our party is raising all these issues. We have decided to fight all elections. We have decided to politically raise these very pertinent important issues of Northeast Manipur to the national level. National Secretary of JDU and former MP KC Tyagi said Manipur is one of the most backward states across the country. The issues and problems people are facing in the state have been neglected by the center and the state government is still unable to talk about it to the center. There is no difference between the previous government and the incumbent BJP-led government. Later, a one-day political conference of the party was also held at Lamyanba Shanglen Palace compound today. Speaking at the political conference, National General Secretary K.C. Tyagi said the party will take the matter of JCILPS, conversion of Manipur Rifles to Manipur Resident, National Citizenship Bill, etc. to the centre. There are few demands of the Manipuri people's 
Council, from this month and from this convention of the party. We support them. May Manikuta Center, main center for the Olympics came in 2020. We must act as the capital of the sports in North East, not only North East, of India. Another demand from some Manipuri friends and the civil society, the conversion of the Manipur rifle into Manipur regiment. It is a old demand of the Manipuri people. We demand the conversion of the Manipur rifles into Manipur regiment, which will be the order of the Manipuri people. A brief scuffle occurred at Kurai Ahongpung in Wangkai Assembly constituency over land dispute. The tussle broke out when some people of the Ahongpung shrine were leveling the ground for constructing a waiting shed near the shrine. According to reports, the non-locals living in the area have issues with the land where the waiting shed was being constructed. MLA of Wangkai Assembly constituency O. Henry met those involved and he appealed to the people to abstain from any violence for any matter. General Secretary of Mai Chau Ning Shing Lok Kurai Ahantem Irabot Maitai and a non-local resident of the area made various points on, on the incident. Lifeform Zibu Gi Sanctity Kangba Adegi Lifeform Zi Kanoto Zi Mayamna Ning Shing Narapasi Sum Hengal Lifeform Lapa Gi Sangji Sum Hengal Lapa Adegi Hai Riba Mapham Zi Reza Lifeform Lapa Sing Zi Mapham Zi Ekomodit Tawas Sandreva Adu Na Maram Oire Hai Raga Ayko Na Asted Kort Ki Ating Bal Lai Raga Su Asum Na Kort Ki Ating Bal Lai Raga Su Kort Na Ating Bal Yogda Ba Mapham Duri Da Temporary Set Ama Katang Ayko Na Sa Gi Hai Dano Ho Na Ruba Matam Da Uzi Ki Tiligi Isil Na Uzi Sing Zi Na Asted Ko Gi Manu Chandra Ga Su Masri Da Tawas Kani Gumbadu Construction Am Ta Tawas Yaro Hai Dana Mo Na Ating Bal Pira Pada गवर्नमेंट की ओर की मतुंगी ना दो दो मंदो खोई लाई अगर कहीं सो अथिंग का थंडे लाई खुरम लाख भी हो कहीं सो खोई थी डिस्टर्ब लाई थी हाँ ना सुधम लाई लाई खुरम का अंदर टेम्पररी सेट सारा का दम मीटिंग तो भी लाई खुरम ही कहीं सो कहीं लाई थी प्रॉब्लम लाई थी अगर कोई ना हाइजर ऐसी सीख देने कोर्ट की ओर on the other hand, MLA O. Henry appealed to the people to make joint efforts to ensure such incidents do not recur. Seng nara gadi mafam sde da khan da ki court case ta udana lakpa koi na sahi ta gani thoi hum doi ram shure hai jai. Madhu da ida tauraga lai bese kaita re madhu dugi unkhan na ba ma lakpa duna. Unkhan na unkhan na lai bese unkha si se smai na thau dok se si ora ini hai ta re. Isse tas ko mentien ta uri mafam sde da. Sigi lekai gi cingau sing sing hai na, ada tau bikin hai ba. Ada halaman sing sing na mung hai na. Sirus ko mentian tau bawa mafam zonat ye. Adu gi wang mada ni sini. Hong Pung gi imai bel ipai pel mafam sing na mandiri gi mafam dah sah gi hai jisu. Temporary ni sing na ngak tni, koy human di ground mati em teng sah badi ya ina na kalu ba. Ada lekai gi cingau sing sing na mung hai na, koy dah suhai bide wal tu gai bela abra na adom mando ina. Loi na cakci ba hai tar. Ada na masih live aktif atau doktor sih gua masih matung tanah. Tuan zaning dia, ya raga di semai na communal feeling da. Aku anda kuat hara raga, semua ada kuat hara raga. So kita ng live aktif interest tak kanda bihun ningi. Showing solidarity to the ongoing agitation of JCILPS, local clubs have begun conducting drives to identify non-locals without proper identity proofs. The Lambung Takelambam Leika Youth Development Organization and Thangmaiban United Club Thangmaiban Komdram Selung Balaikai conducted verification drives in the areas under its supervision. Those non-locals staying in rented rooms were mainly verified in the drive. Treasurer of Thangmaiban United Club Konsam Bikram said the step has been taken up by the clubs to support the ongoing stir of the JCILPS. He appealed to the landlords to extend all possible help in trying to separate those staying without proper documents. Masa ini jumlah jumlah orang yang terlosel lagi tambah dan Manipur ini buat kena kelab asinah. Jika lagi aman kau buat cakap tak sih, yau punya kerma no, yau tu punya kerma no. Hanya sih kangen itu untuk jesi LPS ini tangsi lebih ejen desa sih dah kelab asinah so kena support tu juga buat na. Any sangat pak kau ini dan Manipur ini buat nak terlaga kau cakap tak sih, yau tu buat kau ini Manipur ini hek lagi buat kasih kau kau mungkin terlai lai buat kau ini sinau kau mungkin kelab tak. Makoi bi, halam tu koi dia sah tau wa, adu gumba makoi na hana kelab na beri bi kesan. Masa teraga, dia owner sing dasu gumba thambiu hai bi kau kelon sih mas koi kelab sih na. Hari bi koi ngasih gie beri bi kesan gie thabuzel, koi bi gam masih. Jadi kau tu bodi koi bi mifam amuk agtam masih lekai mian tu jauh kau na lak tok cagi ni hai bi kau pam sih ma. Sih mas jauh kelab sih na lakus sih hajar betar. The fourth Manipur State Conference of Bharatiya Mazdoor Sangh was held at GM Hall today. The state conference was organized by the Bharatiya Mazdoor Sangh Manipur State. 
Education Minister T. H. Radeshyam, Organizing Secretary of Bharatiya Mazdur Sangh, New Delhi, B. Surendran, Organizing Secretary of Bharatiya Mazdur Sangh, Naughty Sunil Kirwai, National Executive Member of Bharatiya Mazdur Sangh, N. Tomba, and General Secretary of Akhil Bharatiya Anganwadi, Karmachari, Maha Sangh, New Delhi, Anjali Patel, were the main guests at the conference. Minister T. H. Radeshyam said the conference is held every year in all the states of India. The conference is held with an objective of improving the condition of laborers, Anganwadi workers, Asha workers and building and other construction workers in the state. Improving their condition will help develop the state as a whole. Social security minimum wages welfare in connection with the World Biodiversity Day to be observed on May 22nd, Director of Environment Y. Nabasandra flagged off those who are going to attend the observance to be held at Kaubru Life Homeland. The flag off was done from the western gate of Kangla. Volunteers of Poirai E. Thibalop, Discovery of Manipur and UFO are going to attend the observance. Director Y. Nabasandra said various saplings will be planted ahead of the observance in hill districts. Aduga discover Manipurgi, Agazo Kumargi team, Pula, see who Punzalera, member Sam Kumchami, Ade Kona Zointa or Kodeva, other base game, the Kaza Zointa or Kodem, Anduga, member Sani Munga, Pui Program, Bank Tok, Penny, Haina, Pui, Hosibogi, information from the Lajari. The World Honey Bee Day was observed at the Central Agricultural University at Iroshemba today. Vice Chancellor of Cow Professor M. Prenzit said bee farming helps increase income of farmers. Retired IAS R.K. Nimai, Dean of Cow, Dr. J.M. Leishram, Registrar Dr. K. Momocha and many others attended the observance. Speaking at the observance, Dr. R.K. Nimai said a place cannot be called develop only by improving the infrastructure and buildings. A place can be called develop when the per capita income of the place is sufficient with respect to the need. The Prime Minister's objective of making the farmers' income double by 2022 will not be possible without the efforts of the farmers. VC of Cow Professor M. Premzit said farmers would face the difficulty of irrigation when they opt for double cropping in order to increase their income. Instead of waiting for the government to make some arrangements, the farmers should make efforts to ease the difficulty of irrigation by digging up big ponds. Bee farming is also one of the best options for the farmers to increase their income. Northeastern states like Meghalaya and Nagaland have even launched honeybee mission. He appealed to the farmers to make joint efforts to urge the government to launch the same mission in Manipur as well. It is time for the farmers to set up a farmer producer company for bee farming. People from other parts of the country love the honey produced in the northeastern states including Manipur as it contains comparatively lesser amount of pesticides. Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Moirangthe Mashni Kumar, has refuted the allegation labelled against him of interfering in the arrest of one of the accused of gang rape that allegedly occurred on February 13th at somewhere in Tanga, terming it as baseless and unfounded. M. Mashni Kumar further maintained that the unfortunate incident of crime against women is condemnable. Truth will prevail once the DNA report comes in and let the culprits be punished. However, dragging him and BJP in the case by some student and civil bodies is unfortunate. He once again clarified that he and his party BJP have nothing to do in the investigation of the case. The case has been a long time ago, the law enforcement agency, the police, and the judiciary, 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 and the party, and the judiciary, 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 we have come here in the hope that the government and the party are going to be able to do this. We have come here to be able to do this. 35th International AIDS Candlelight Memorial was observed at Nirvana Foundation located at Kurai Tinsit Road. Attendees led by DSP Imphal East Mayang Bam Roni, President of Max Bikram Nepram and Secretary of Nirvana Foundation Sobhana Sorokhaibam took out candlelight vigil under the theme Reflection on our past preparing for our future. 
Speaking on the occasion, DSP Mayangbam Roni appealed to all to love and take care of drug abusers and lead them to a better part of life and make a stronger society instead of discriminating them. <laughs> Motorcycle belonging to video journalist of the ISTV News, Sana Zauba has been dented as it came under catapult attack at Yumnam Patlo. Sana Zauba was on his way to an area in Imphal East for news coverage of the ongoing bund against the possible shifting of Imphal East District Hospital from Sagolma. Meanwhile, all Manipur Working Journalist Union has condemned the act of atrocities against media fraternity who are selflessly carrying out an essential service for the welfare of the people. After deliberating on the unfortunate incident that happened to Sanazawa of the ISCV News during the bunt called by the JC against unnatural shifting of Imphal District Hospital, Amju urged the people involved in the incident to apologize within two days, failing which legal suit will be taken up against those individuals. And I will be back after a short break. The mark I scored today is impossible without the guidance of Comet. It is not possible without them. I would like to thank Comet for helping me achieve what I have achieved. Strategy, planning and the weekly examinations of Comet. One of the best coaching centers that provide a concrete foundation to the growing medical experience to a promising future. Goods and Services Tax GST da register ta wiraba taxpayer khuding makna matam chana GSTR 3B monthly return file ta wiyo April hagi GSTR 3B return file ta wagi aroi banu miti lakli ba migi tang kuni thoi dani sale chang dana return file ta unabagi da makta Old Guwahati High Court Building North AOC Department gi facilitation center da lakpi duna return file ta wiyo kangan jari ba Department of Texas Government of Money Education Fair 2018 meet delegates of top colleges and universities from the different parts of India and abroad. 16 to 17 May 2018, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Lamyan Vasanglen Palace Compound, entry free, organized by Leo NECC. Welcome back. Protection and Preservation Committee, Manipur PPCM, and Mao Union Imphal under the aegis of Manipur Organic Mission Agency MoMA jointly organized a one-day training program for farmers at Tadubi Community Hall under Mao Maram subdivision in Senapati district. Project Director of MoMA K. Devdata Sharma said agricultural and horticultural products of Mao and Maram blocks are in high demand because of its organic value. He also assured of including around 500 hectares of Tadubi and its surrounding areas under the program of Manipur Organic Value Chain Development, Northeast Region. National Food Security Act Development Committee, Kurai, has alleged that the MLA of Kurai constituency had threatened the committee when they went to the MLA requesting disbursement of an FSA quota. Addressing a press meet held at Kurai Sazor Lekai, Secretary of the Committee and Premila said, MLA had been time and again requested to provide necessary AAY cards and priority cards for an FSA. Cards were then provided for some after people hesitated. Now, all the cards are taken aback. N. Premila said when they went to the MLA requesting to release those cards and food grain under an FSA, MLA asked them whether or not they wanted to eat dal in jail. Okay, Third Zumba Fitness Masterclass for two days jointly organized by Zumba Manipur Association and Manipur Education Society concluded today at Kuman Lampak Indoor Stadium. Registrar of National Sports University K. Radha Kumar, National Vice President of BJP Mahila Morcha A. Sarda, editor of Naharolgi Thaudang, Koirom Loyalakpa, among others, attended the closing ceremony. Speaking on the occasion, K. Radha Kumar said, everyone knows health is wealth, but very few people follow it. However, Zumba workout which is associated with music could easily make anyone interested to move and exercise. 
Development Committee of Nongmaibung Chakram Lairak Eastern Students Club and Green Planter Society have jointly cleaned the neighborhood and also planted saplings at Nongmaibung Chakram Lairak as part of Governor's Green Manipur Initiative 2018. One of the participants told the ISTV News that every household will take care of the maintenance tree planted today in the neighborhood. And national news, JDS National General Secretary Danis Ali has said that Karnataka Chief Minister designate H.D. Kumaraswamy will be sworn in on Wednesday. The three-day-old BJP government in Karnataka collapsed on Saturday as Chief Minister B.S. Yadurapa quit minutes before he was to face a floor test to prove his contested majority in the hung assembly after which the JDS Congress combined, led by the regional party's chief Kumaraswamy, was invited to take the reins of power. Kumaraswamy, who became the chief minister for the first time in 2006 at the, as the head of a JDS-BJP coalition, said the government has given him 15 days to prove the majority, but they will do it much before. He also thanked the Supreme Court for the right directions. The BJP put up a brave face after the resignation with Union Minister Prakash Javdekar saying the party knows how to respect democracy, while the Congress, the AAP and other opposition parties said the Saffron Party's attempt to subvert democracy failed miserably. Union Parliamentary Affairs Minister Anand Kumar claimed that the new government would not last long as it was unholy nexus. Six Chhattisgarh police domas were killed today when the vehicle they were traveling in was blown up by Maoist in Dantewada's Cholnar village. At least three of the Jawans were from Chhattisgarh Armed Force and two from the Dantewada District Force. One Jawan was also reported to be injured in the IED blast triggered by the outlawed Maoist rebels. Central Reserve Police Force troops have been rushed to the attack site. DIZ Ratan Lal Dangi said the IED blast targeted an SUV in which a joint team of the Chhattisgarh Armed Force and the District Force was traveling. The SUV was escorting a vehicle carrying road construction work material. Road construction work is currently being taken up between Kirandul and Palnar villages in Dantewada. The Maoists also took away the weapons of the police personnel, officials said. And now we have the recap of the top stories. UP government offers land for setting of National Sports University in Lucknow, says a national channel. Matter of National Sports University will be discussed with Prime Minister and in Parliament, says National General Secretary JDU. And tussle occurs between two groups over land dispute at Kurai, Hong Kong. That's all we have in the English ISTV News for today. Thank you for watching ISTV News. Good night.